Hello everyone, I'm Gorilla Monsoon. Well, okay, not really. I'm actually being generated via AI, but we can pretend I'm real and no, this is not some guy doing an impression. Okay, great. With that out of the way, thanks for listening. I'm assuming you found this directly on the YouTubes or maybe on Twitter. In either case, please be sure to follow the doofus that made this. You can find a link to his Twitter in the description of this video or, you know, on Twitter. And really, the amount of time that goes into writing these pieces of shit every day is truly bananas. So if you like this, I think it'd be a good idea for you to check out the link in the guy's pinned tweet. If you like the WWF from the 80s and 90s, this is for you. Every pay-per-view reviewed in order starting in 1985 and up to 1996 so far. Just click on it, get them free for a week, and tell them the fake gorilla sent you. Okay, on with the compilation. Well, your lordship, it looks like we've got a great encounter here. The flawless one, Mr. Perfect, set for action against the superfly, Jimmy Snuka. Oh, you're so right, Sean. And Mr. Perfect, he is obviously in tremendous shape. And the genius, always lurking around ringside. I wonder if... Hey! Oh, my word. What the hell is going on in here? I go to drain the lizard for two minutes and you guys turn this shit into Coliseum Corner? I, uh, I'm... Get out! Get out of my chair, Mooney. Sorry, Gorilla, I just, uh... Out! Out of my chair! Well, I must say... Yeah, you must say nothing, you English muffin. I don't even like English muffins. <sighs> Good Lord, what a mess. <sighs> Microphone all spitty. Uh, I'm sorry. Jeez, Mooney, where'd you learn your technique? A fucking car wash? <laughs> no, uh, it was actually... Yeah, shh. I don't really care. Oh, okay. Hey, what's a chooch? Slang. Don't worry about it. Really, Vinny? The man they call Vader? <sighs> More like the man literally everyone that isn't fucking weird calls Vader. Just call him Vader, you dumb son of a bitch. And Mastodon, cutting edge Vincent, cutting the fuck edge. Right up there with Chili McFreeze, fucking bozo. Why'd I extend the Iron Man match at WrestleMania 12? Well, simple, fuck off, that's why. I was a huge fan of Corporal Kirshner. Just kidding, hee <laughs> hee. Not too long ago, I told you folks that Jesse Ventura pissed his pants at WrestleMania 4 while posing on the balcony. Unfortunately, I've been informed that this isn't true. It was actually at WrestleMania 5. We'll be back. If your dick is too flaccid and it won't let you screw, if it's soft as molasses and you desire it grew, well, have I got a clue for you all to debut? It's true and it's blue, so just give it a chew. It's Advil, because you give me a fucking headache. I don't know for sure what their mission was, but I got the hell down when Mabel, Oscar, and Mo came out. Hell yeah, good shit. Oops, there it is indeed. Well, but, oh, no. you know, uh, Jim Londos was, uh... Yeah, sure. He was probably the, uh... Blah, blah, more popular blah. than, uh... Do not well, care. Do not care. Do not care. Because I didn't... Ding! Uh... Oops, sorry. Gotta go. My oven or clothes or some shit is ready. Bye. Why was I glad I retired? <laughs> Three words for you. Wrestling fucking hurts. I remember the first time I met The Undertaker. It was up in, uh... Rochester. And anyway, I see this tall, red-headed kid backstage. He walks up to me and says, Uh, uh, hi, Mr. Monsoon. I'm, uh, Mark... And I said, yeah, yeah, kid, we're all Marks. Did you know that Dusty Rhodes was secretly a really good chef? No, I'm serious. He really was. I remember one time in Baltimore, he brought in a delicious thwimp campy. Contrary to what you may have heard, I was not Steve Austin's son. My favorite Johnny V promo? Gotta be the one where he just spouts random gibberish in a desperate attempt to make a point. So, uh, I guess that's all of them. Hey, did you see the second annual WBF championship? Yeah, same here. Give me a break. More people have seen Bigfoot naked. More people have seen naked fucking Bigfoot. Gene, tell everyone about your run-in with Mary Hart. Haha, <laughs> good oh, one. Oh, goodness alive. Mary Hart, host of TV's Entertain Me Tonight. She, did uh... he say entertain me? Yes, I believe he did. Uh, Why does he talk like a fucking idiot? Shh. Hey, there's Nathan Ring with the Wii IT. Come again? Haha, -ha, Stu Hart is more coherent. Yeah, fuck your couch, Heenan. Huh? I, I, uh, I don't know what that means. It means fuck you, that's what it means. Wow. Oh, I know what the problem is. He's, so, uh... So, Mary Hart, she... Uh, that blue chew stuff uh, didn't work. Huh, well, that explains it all. Hey, ball sacks, I can fucking hear you. Very observant. Yeah, great. If only your dick worked as well as your ears. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're not getting the damn story. Oh, come on, Gene. Yeah, how's that for fucking retribution? I was sitting backstage in Beaumont, Texas with Doink, the Matt Bourne version, and Horace Hogan, Hulk's nephew. He was working as the Predator or some bullshit. I guess Reno Riggins was busy. Anyway, the three of us are talking and they're both really excited, you know. Oh, I can't wait to get a big push. I said, get the fuck out of here, you clown. No, not you, Matt. You're cool. I remember walking up to the old ring announcer, Joe McHugh. I said to him, what was it like when the Titanic sunk? Uh, hey, he was like eight. He probably remembered. 
If you hung the hammer for being a good singer, well, first of all, who the fuck are you to hang someone? What the hell century are you living in? Oh, watch out, everyone. We've got a real Franz Schmidt around here. Oh, fuck it. No one gets this joke. Ask stupid questions. Get stupid antlers. Just ask the barbarian. We'll be back. Hey, have you ever wanted to piss your money away on frivolous crap for your pubic area? Well, friend, you're in luck. Manscaped will help you polish that shit up so nice for your next fucking lonely jerk session. Fuck out of here with these ads. Hey, Gino, why don't we try our old, you know, routine? Huh? Oh, boy. Not the routine. Oh, God. I don't know if I remember this. Oh, no, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Uh, yeah, you can do it too, fuckface. It's been such a dick sometimes. Oh, shh, he really is. Seriously? Have you heard some of the remarks you've made over the years? No. So what's the fucking verdict? Gene, it's been forever. You really want to try this crap? Well, what the fuck else do we have to do, Mr. Fucking Excitement? Do you have some hot bowling fucking game that you're missing because of this? Wow. Such a dick sometimes. He really is. Told you. Are you bitches done yammering or what? Yeah, all right, you bald-headed, small dick, erection-lacking, mustache-wearing, pot-bellied, funny-smelling, five-foot-three little bastard. <laughs> Let's fucking do it! Oh, perfect. I'll count us down. And a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Schlimmel. Schlimmel. Hey, so Hudson Feet for Incorporated. Good lord, that sucked. What? It was great, Monsoon. Oh, I agree with you, Heenan. What a rendition. I'll give Russo credit. The man made a tremendous veal saltimbanca. My goodness, I could eat that with no pants on. You see, that's one of the benefits of working with other Ital uh, Manchurian people. So I'm watching the television the other night, must have been around 11 or so, and some movie comes on. Assault on Devil's Island or something. And I reach for the clicker because who cares? And then I see Terry Hulk Hogan. He's in this shit. So I watch for a minute. And then I reach for the clicker and turn that shit off. Horrible! The three quietest places in the world, I'm told, are Zurich, Switzerland, Kelso Dunes in the Mojave Desert, and any arena in 1994 when Jeff Jarrett was wrestling. Good Lord. Oh, ha, ain't ah great, sure, but you're not fucking over. Oh, you can spell your name uh, fucking riveting. Let's print money. We're back. We've got a uh, gorilla on the call phone. What's up, gorilla? Hey, how's it going, Mike? Uh, fine. Yeah, so... uh I was wondering, if Diet Coke stopped being made, what the hell would your fat, sleepy-ass drink? I'll hang up and listen. I didn't dislike Stan Lane, but good God, working with him in that stupid FM radio voice. Hi, fans. Welcome to Wrestling Challenge. We've got Pierre coming down that aisle, gorilla. Calm your tits, buddy. This isn't Z-1000 or whatever. No way, brain. Pineapple absolutely does not belong on pizza. Yes, it does. You're not the boss of me. No, out of the question. Oh, why the hell not, Monsoon? What's wrong with pineapple? Fruit on a savory delight. Get the hell out of here. Savory delight? You can put peppers, sure. Weirdo? Uh, maybe some onion. Definitely some garlic. Yeah, yeah. But it's all about pepperoni sausage. You've got to put meat well, on it. Ha, you would know about putting meat in things. What the hell did you just say, Gabados? I said, hey, let's eat some wings. Ooh, hell yeah, wing time for the big guy. Phew. So it wasn't that, uh, I mean, in the, it was, well, I didn't, you know, say. The exact fucking quote was, Monsoon was not a good wrestling announcer. Oh, yeah. Uh, October 18th, 1999, Observer. You I, know what? Uh, I didn't. Shh, I'm talking. Sorry. Maybe you're right. Really? Maybe I was a bad wrestling announcer, and maybe in my book. Well, I think that you uh, Shut could up. call a match. Good Lord, I'm still talking here. Match calling. In my book. If you think I'm bad, but everyone else remembers me fondly, then so be it. Uh, but I don't need recognition from a chooch like you. I'm over it. Uh, so... What now? Can you, um, can you tell me what chooch means? It means cool guy. Oh, uh, r really? Definitely. You are truly a chooch, Dave. If you're ever having a bad day, just be thankful no one took a good look at you and decided your name should be Meat. Jeez, Alou, what a dopey moniker. We'll be right back on the Gorilla Monsoon Show. I'm sorry to say this, but your wee wee will never get bigger. Sad, I know. However, you can certainly make it harder. Harder to listen to these fucking podcasts with dick pill ads every eight minutes. The B in Brian Blair's name stands for asshole. Let's see, more fan questions. Uh, did you like Mel Phillips? Trick question. Nobody liked Mel Phillips. I liked Bachwinkle just fine, but there were certain tricks in dealing with him. Say you didn't know where the restroom was. Well, about 15 minutes before you actually need to do the deuce dropping, ask him where the can is. That way, by the time he finishes the history of the fucking toilet, you're primed and ready to roll.
Brain, you're wrong. I'm right as always. Beatles kicked the stone's ass. Nope. <laughs> more soul, more groove, harder nope, rock. Nope, not listening. Beatles la, la, couldn't la, do la, half la, the... la. Oh, that's real mature. Yeah, you're mature. More mature than you, booger. Huh. Duty head. Anyway, stones rule, Beatles drool. Oh, you're so wrong, it hurts. That's what she said. Who is she anyway? Not gonna touch that one. Ooh, that's what she said. Hey. <laughs> well, you know, Mooney, I'll give you one thing. Yeah? I liked you better than that Greg DeGeorge guy. Ha, well... Good grief. Always blathering on about Matilda. Um, uh, isn't it, uh... What? Isn't it Craig? Oh, shut up, Ian. Hey, what has four legs and sends people running? A grizzly bear. And Techno Team 2000. Ha! Sss, man, I'm on fire. Yeah, great, Vinny. Bring in the fucking Patriot to feud with Bret Hart during his hottest run like ever. Smooth move, dickweed. Guy looked like a fucking firecracker popsicle. Finger on the pulse, as always, Vincent. Or up your ass. I need another beer. Sam Houston. More like, yeah, Houston, we've got a problem. The problem is, uh, you stink. We'll be back. Apollo 13. Oh, shit, I'm still on. Ha, I am Conrad. I'm a regular guy. Just a fan. Do you own or rent your home? Can you spend money, please? Chat me up, har har. Gene, can we please get that Mary Hart story now? Oh, well, yeah, I... Yeah, tell it, Baldy. Hey, drink your own piss, Heenan. No idea what that means. Yeah, good. Mary Hart, host of entertainment tonight. You hear that? Wow. Did I say the fucking word right? Pork chop face? Yes, you did. Good. I guess hooked on phonics work. Yeah, ass wipes. Huh. Somebody's cranky. And any fucking way, Mary Hart comes up to me at WrestleMania 2 in Pontiac, Michigan. Uh, and, gee. uh. Three, it was three, you oversized lawn ornament. Oh, fuck you, potato ass. Don't know what that means either. Yeah, it means shut the fuck up. Oh, good grief. You gonna let him talk to me like that? Yes. Who the hell are you, Dave Meltzer? Gotta be fucking right all the time with your dates and your times and crossing your T's and dotting your lowercase J's. Uh, what? It's from, it's Wayne. from Wayne's World. Wayne's World 2. No, it's from the first one. What's Wayne's World? No, it's not. You never remember anything. Oh, yeah? Obviously didn't remember that fucking mustache is out of style. <laughs> it is. Oh, fuck it, pickle lickers. What? You're never getting that Mary Hart anecdote. What a baby. So, uh, what's Wayne's World? It's fucking Sunday. I don't want to talk to Russo or Meltzer or Jim Ross or Greg or any of those schmucks. You know who I want to talk to? Lance fucking Russell. Huh. Well, okay. I sure like talking to you too, gorilla. No, no, please. Call me Gino. Ah, yeah. oh, don't start with the smart stuff. Nah, it'd be an honor, Lance. You know who's good? You're good. Well, thank you. Give me a hug, motherfucker. Uh... Vince McMahon used to stuff the triceps of his suit with venison. I once saw Ken Resnick snort a line of brown sugar. He said it helped with this concentration. What the fuck did Vern do to these people? Remember that time Julie Hart yelled at Triple H in the in the hallway? That was awesome. Hi there, um, Jim Ross, and I uh, like to eat Gruel. And I said, no, it's pasta fazul. <laughs> <laughs> what a joker. Last we ever saw. And remember, <laughs> good. Remember at that gimmick battle royal. Oh, oh sure. Big homecoming. WrestleMania 17. Well, I, uh. Wasn't it X7? What? I wasn't there. Well, that's a stupid fucking name. Huh, sure is. Uh, so is Okerlund. Shh, shut it. I remember sitting there next to you, Heenan. Yeah, I remember the smell. And you fucking said <laughs> that, that line good. about the Iron Sheik. Oh, huh. And, uh. WrestleMania 38. Okay. I looked over at Jim Ross, and he just about pissed his damn corduroys. Ha, 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 yeah. His husky Heyman corduroys. Had to Oh, I love it. Heyman had to bite his damn lips so much, he looked like Heenan in his motel at 1 a.m. Oh, what? goodness gracious. Hey, what the hell did I do? Well, according to the chambermaid, not much. Ha! Oh, fucking liar. Awful. Weird looking one, too. Anyway, sounds like you guys had a great time at that year's WrestleMania. Yeah, I, we did. Uh, I hey, wait a minute, Gino. Uh, hey, uh, why weren't you there? Yeah, why were you absent? Yeah. Well, uh, I had to see a man about a few things, you know. Handle some, uh, some big business. Oh, mob stuff. What? Ha, uh, the no, mafia. No, uh, I'm Manchurian, damn it. If Roddy Piper throws a guy into the ropes, shouldn't it be a Scottish whip? Ha! Thank you, I'll be here all night. And Patterson says to me, You know, Gino, if Shawn Michael wins the Royal Rumble, the place will go banana. And I said, Sure, Pat. Banana. Yeah, they'll go bonker. What are you, nut? If you ever feel useless, just remember luscious John Valiant was employed until 1988. I remember meeting Bonnie Blackstone, real nice young lady, and she says to me, Hi, Mr. Monsoon, I'm really excited to work here. And I said, uh, why? Owen Hart once said Brett was too damn shellfish. I think he was actually talking to Bill Eady. We'll be back. What is this now? Athletic Greens? Let me look this shit up on the Yahoo. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, it's fucking vitamins? Looks like fucking St. Patrick's Day Icapro. Give me a break. Oh, uh, hi. I'm, uh, Gorilla Meltzer, and, uh, I was going to, uh, you know, only eat half of this lasagna, but, um, 
well, you know, plans changed. <laughs> hey, Monsoon, pick one, Domino's or Pizza Hut? Oh, you neither one, Brain. What? Why not? Because that ain't pizza. It's just... What the a- hell is it, then? Will you let me talk? Uh, no. Huh. How about that, you big dope? Being a big baby, are you? I know you are, but what am I? Huh. What a sorry excuse you are. What a sorry excuse you are. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Seriously? Seriously. What, are you repeating everything I'm saying now? What, are you repeating everything I'm saying now? Oh, fungul. Oh, fungul. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're pushing it. You're pushing it. You know what? You know what? Ow! Ha. That hurt. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> I heard a rumor, your lordship, that Mr. Fuji once ribbed you by switching your tea out for coffee. Oh, ha ha. Confirm, deny. Well, Gino, I must say, it's true. I can confirm that one. <laughs> but I will say, I got him right back, you know. I switched out that ceremonial salt that he always carries with arsenic. Ah, ha 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 ha. Uh, please stay the hell away from me. I'm not saying there's a direct correlation, but I have it on good authority that any time a million dollar corporation member wrestled, sales of nachos increased exponentially. Any arena in the country. No, I didn't think the billionaire Ted skits were very funny. I thought the real Ted Turner was funny. I mean, look at the guy. <laughs> I want to see my mustache waggle. Yuck, yuck. Now that's comedy. The irresistible force meets the immovable object every time I open a jar of pickles. What, do they cement the lid on? And then they they moved me to fucking SmackDown with no advance notice. Oh, yes, right. Fucking horses' asses. Huh. Well, some During of During the fucking draft. Uh, the draft. Like, that's part of the rules. The what? Yeah, I got a draft for you. I'm going to draft a letter about how much you can suck my Oklahoma trouser trout. Jim, uh, I don't think we need to... Fucking bitches. Oh, good Lord. And quite frankly, Connie... Holy shit, I'm not Connie. Uh... Connor. Fine, sure. I stopped trying then and there. Well, good for you. Assholes. Fucking pushing me over to the B show. B stands for bastards, which is what those bastards are. Well, uh, again, it seems like Jim Ross is a bit befuddled here. Uh, he Monsoon, isn't... did you ever meet anyone from Oklahoma that wasn't befuddled? Ha! Huh? Well, highly unlikely. I'd like everyone to welcome back the Toddster, Todd Pettengill. Hey, thanks, Gorilla. Man, what a great feeling to be back here, huh? It's like Andrew Dice Clay was Yeah, saying. yeah, quiet. Uh, so, Todd, my first question is, remember when you bleached your hair? Ha, huh, yeah, I remember that. It was actually frosted tips. It was all the rage back then. Sounds like a cereal. Ha, huh, well, yeah, it's kind of like frosted flakes, you anyway, know? Anyway, with Tony... Hey, important people talk in here? They're great. You looked like that guy that eats all of the food in the diners and drives or whatever. Oh, uh, Guy Fieri? No, Jim Cornette. When Head Shrinker Fatu was talking about making a difference in 1995, is it possible he was talking about his pants? Doc Hendricks? Who the hell came up with that name? Yeah, sure, here's a guy who vaguely likes music or some shit, looks like a sleazy game show host, sounds like an asshole, and he just so happens to have the same last name as a legendary guitarist, and, uh, Doc, is that Don Dockin? Doc Severinsen. Oh, whatever. It's all bad. Highly unlikely I'm going to answer this guy's email. Gene, what's that story about Morton Downey Jr.? Oh, oh I remember that. Goodness alive. What a disturbing this fucking guy caused. Yes, he sure did. It was WrestleMania 4 in Atlantic City, five, New Jersey. WrestleMania 5. What? 5, Gene, uh, not 4. Oh, who fucking cares? Same shithole of an arena. Huh. Got a point. Yeah. And anyway, it's about two hours before the show in Morton Downey, Los Angeles, California. He comes up to me and says, uh, hey, got any cigarettes? He didn't bring his own? And I said, no, only the funny cigarettes, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy. Oh. He means the ones made out of candy. Yeah, eat crabs, Heenan. No clue what that means. I like crab cakes. It means keep your damn mouth shut. What a big grouch. Especially and, with uh, some tartar sauce. So any fucking way, he says to me, well, I need some real cigarettes. Cheap bastard. And he goes to, I don't know, Pat Patterson or somebody, get some fucking smokes, lights one up right in front of my face, and I said, Put hey, that, uh, don't uh, smoke, it's a joke. What? That's not what you said. What? No, that's what I said. No, you said put that... No, you're thinking of another time. Oh, come on. Gene, people all over Twitter were probably expecting you to say something else. What the fuck is Twitter? Well, because with... uh, (laughs) Let me get my stopwatch. With the moves, you know, I mean... Yeah, moves, great. Okay, so a match... Uh Uh-huh. It has to, um... uh, Well, the crowd... I mean, the crowd is... uh, The crowd is what? Because Norm Dooley, he... uh, Who? He invented uh, with Jim Cornette. Holy shit. All I want to know is why did you give Big Boss Man versus Jim Duggan at Royal Rumble negative fucking stars? Uh, That's it. Well, match rating is... That's uh, all I wanted to know, you gavone. Is uh, is that the same as a chooch or a, a jid rule? It's all different. Oh. Monudge. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? An owl that doesn't care. Huh. 
If you think opening bouts at house shows are tedious, try calling one with Johnny V and his stale Keystone Light breath. Boar! Give the guy a Listerine and lemonade for cripe's sakes. And now a poem, a hem. Roses are red, violets are blue, man mountain rock made a tasty fondue. Listen to that tremendous ovation from my wife as I throw my socks in the hamper. Jesse Ventura did in fact only put two finger pounds of pressure on that barbell for Dino Bravo and 100 pounds of smelly butt pressure. All right, Monsoon, back to this pizza business. Oh, will you stop? What the hell is your problem with Pizza Hut and Domino's? Because they're like fast food pizza brain. So what? They taste good. Highly unlikely. Come on, yes they do. Huh. You ever order Domino's after midnight? No. Maybe when you've been drinking. And I've never eaten Domino's, Brain. What? You heard me. Really? Yes, really. That can't be true. It is true. Nah, because I remember once after a show, you ordered six things of cheesy bread and ate all of it with. We don't talk about the cheesy bread incident. And shit the damn bed. What? Oh, uh, I said that's damn good bread. I know, right? People have speculated for years about Hulk Hogan's black eye at WrestleMania 9. <laughs> Was it Randy Savage? Was it a jet ski? Well, I've got the scoop, kids. Randy Savage threw a jet ski at him. No, really, would I lie to you? I was in Sioux Falls, South Dakota once, and once was enough. Believe you me, can't even get a decent steak Pete Sayol there. Boris Zukov was actually a very good salsa dancer. You ever see Vince McMahon without his hair? Yeah, you did. WrestleMania 23, duh, we'll be back. You ever notice that insurance commercials are kind of gimmicky? Well, good fucking observation. Do you have insurance already? Cancel it so you can save 47 cents a month and take that money and buy yourself a fucking life. Honky Tonk Man was originally brought in as a good guy. Yeah, really. Vinny thought he could sell the kids Elvis jumpsuits. Huh. Guy had as good of chance of getting over as a face as I do for winning best hairstyle. Gene, can we get the Reba McIntyre story? Oh, that's well, Tito's WrestleMania sister. 8. Shh, that's not necessary. Uh, that's an old joke, Heenan. You're an old joke. Yeah, suck a bowling ball, shithead. Yeah, his head looks like a bowling ball. Quiet. Any fucking way, it was WrestleMania 8 in Indianapolis. And, uh, Whoa, he got it right. Yeah, sometimes I remember shit. He didn't remember deodorant. And, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna remember to kick your ass if you don't stop. Huh. He's talking to you, Monsoon. Not my ass. Fuck's sakes. And Reba McIntyre comes up to me and says, Hi, I'm supposed to sing the national anthem today. Anthem. And I said, Hoa, I sang that at the first WrestleMania. Yeah, I remember the cats came running. That's enough. And she says to me, What's WrestleMania? And then what? Yeah. And? Uh, well, I, I forget. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck it. I guess it didn't leave a strong impression on me. And against my better judgment, please welcome luscious john valiant yeah well thank you gino it's good to be on a podcast or a talk show smoke show smoking section uh, cheering section leering and jeering all the way to california hey grandma no not doing this <sighs> one of the main differences between jack tunney and myself as president is that jack tunney's poopies smelled a lot worse we've got gino in willingboro okay what's up gino hey mike how you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Listen, I just wanted to ask you. Go ahead. Is it true you weighed 441 at your heaviest? Because I weighed 440 and I don't think uh, you... All right, enough of that. Okay, must be a 10th grader. Go to school. Learn something. Back after this. Hey, here's something interesting. The longest day is June 21st. The longest river is the Nile. The longest desert is the Sahara. And the longest seven months of my life were the Lex Luger Tatanka feud. Knock, knock. Who's there? Is Jim Neidhart. Is Jim Neidhart who? Yes, yes he is. Hey. Tony Atlas once got lost in a Sears parking lot. Should have named him Tony Map. Ha. Was Honky Tonk Man supposed to have invented Elvis or something? And why didn't he actually ever play guitar? And why was he with a girl named Peggy Sue? Isn't that a Buddy Holly song? So many questions. I need another you who. You say potato. I say potato. You say tomato. I say tomato. Potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. Let's, Let's call, call the, the whole thing, thing off. Ha ha ha. That was pretty good, Monsoon. <laughs> you better believe it. I, uh, oh crap, we're on the air. So, uh, it wasn't because, uh, well, I mean the match. Uh, uh, oh it Lord, was, here we go. Know, it was good. Yeah, match. But, uh, the problem with, uh, say it. Because Titan, they, uh, you can just say WWF. Well, the water coolers went away and. The hell does that have to do with anything? You know, back in 1992, the scandal with, uh. uh oh my god. So it wasn't like they didn't not think. Uh, That's enough. I, uh. Finish a sentence. What, uh. Fongool! Is that, um. All I asked is if you like cream in your coffee for crying out loud. Uh. 
What does fangul mean? Uh, it's a smoked deli meat. Oh, really? Yep, sure. In fact, go down to the Italian deli and order some. I ran into Gordon Soli once in the 80s, and he invited me to see his new house. It was a duplay. So I'm backstage at the Rosemont, and Dino Bravo walks up to me. Hey there, Gino, did you know I'm going to be paired up with the earthquake? And I said, yeah, that's great. Happy birthday. Knock, knock. Who's there? The. The who. Yeah! We won't get fooled again. <laughs> Catchy tune. What was John Pierre Lafitte's favorite letter? His offer of employment in 1993. <laughs> this mattress has been specially reinforced for some of the action tonight. No way, Brain. Phil Collins' version of Genesis is the best one. Monsoon, you're so simple-minded. What? Of course you don't appreciate the delightful prog rock from Peter Gabriel's version. You mean that dumbass fairy tale noise bullshit? Ha! Get a light, would you? Uh, duh. I'm Gorilla and I need pop songs. Her, her. Well, what the hell is so bad about wanting a nice toe tapper? <laughs> toe tap. They had some nice ones, Brain. Invisible touch, I can't dance, land of confusion. Land of confusion? I thought that's what they used to describe you when you, uh... Go below the border in bed. What was that now? I said, let's order some wings instead. Oh, awesome. Let's do it. I got shotgun. Meltzer writes in the December 5th Observer. Oh, this will be fun. Little happened for the first 14 minutes because with no holds over and nobody really selling holds and announcer Gorilla Monsoon even killing holds for the fans at home huh. and no pinfall combinations were being done, nothing happened. Chat me up. Do you agree with Meltzer's assessment here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. That match sucked. It was boring. I had a stupid shirt on. I wanted to fall the hell asleep. The best part about it was Owen. And he wasn't in the match. I'll never forget Jacques Rougeau coming up to me and yelling, Hey, why don't I get a bigger push around here? And I said, Jacques, give me a break. If you want to push, get close to the window. I'll give you a fucking push. The pendulum has swung in the other direction here, which isn't good because this is an antique grandfather clock. Jimmy Hart, that little runt. He used to drink about 17 cups of coffee, strip fucking naked, and then listen to friggin' Air Supply for like an hour. Get my mood up, baby. And then he took me off pay-per-view and oh, yeah, I put me on the damn radio with Gorilla Monsoon. Uh, Jim, that's me. Fucking horse shit. What did I do? Like anyone listen to that fucking bull crap? Well, I'm sure some people did. My ass. Uh, relegating me to radio while he's on TV making a damn fool out of himself. Well, he... Sorry ass bullshit. Fucking carny shit. Huh. Horse crap. Horse crap? Dick nuts. Oh, no. Fart detective. Fart what? Weenus Watson. Who? Shit ticklers. That sounds gross. Fuck. Kiss my ass. Actually, don't. Hug my ass. Yeah, hug my ass with your fucking mouth, you smarmy ass muscle fucker. What is... Well, uh, huh. Looks like... Wow. Jim Ross again, folks, is uh, a little confused. Too much barbecue sauce last night. <laughs> or quaaludes. Hey, brain, so... Uh, what's a muscle fucker? Not now, Monsoon! I heard it through the grapevine, your lordship, that you and Moolah had a little, you know, something something going on back in the day. Oh, my hmm? word. A little rendezvous, so to speak. Oh. Hmm. A little, a little tryst, eh? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, Gino, I cannot confirm and or deny, but uh, I must say, I don't think I would have had a rumpy, rumpy or a roger with my bell end in the muff side. Uh, what the hell does that mean? Speak English, would you? Oh, wait. Hey, poetry time. Ahem, roses are red, violets are blue, Steve Kern was Skinner, and doink number two. Hey, hey, I'm good. This bag of Chex Mix left a lot to be desired. It was, I don't know, July 1992 or some crap, and Paul Ellering walks up to me and starts yammering, Hello, gorilla. I am the conduit for which to speak to the Legion of Doom. And finally, I just took Rocco from his fucking arms and kicked Ellering in the face with it. Shut up! I took Godfather's suggestion once and took a ride on the Ho train. I think it was an Amtrak. Service was good. I arrived on time, but man, was the food cart lacking. Can a guy get a decent chicken parmesan sandwich on the rails? And Jim Ross walks up to me and says, Hey, Gino, what's your favorite Kool-Aid flavor? I really like the one-man gang, George Gray, super nice guy, but man, he smelled like burnt margarine. Brain, get a grip. Starbucks is infinitely superior to Dunkin' Donuts. End of story, end of quotation. Nope. Starbucks is overpriced, pretentious, and they can't oh. even name their drinks the right fucking way. Ah, oh, what? Is it too hard for your stupid little head to figure out that venti means 20 in Italian? It's stupid. As in 20 fucking ounces, you idiot? I'm not an idiot. Plus, it's easier for you because you're Italian. What? Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> anyway, you're wrong. Starbucks has a cozy atmosphere and delicious scones. Monsoon, Dunkin' Donuts is great coffee and fucking donuts. Well, I do like donuts. Huh? Yeah, that's because you can fit your dick into it and pretend I'll it's... I'll cream your brain.
I've been working on my Larry Zbysko impression. Want to hear? Okay. Ahem. Abaha! Blah, blah, Bruno's yard. Blah, blah, ha, blah, chess. Wacky web weaving. New world odor. Pretty good, right? It is indeed a happening here as I get to open a new tube of toothpaste. Hey, what's the difference between a placebo and nails? Placebos can actually work sometimes. <laughs> Coco Beware's bird, Frankie, used to hate Billy Red Lions. Caca, you're a flunky asshole. Smart bird. So it was November 1990 in Worcester, Mass. And rugged Ronnie Garvin comes up to me. Hey, Gino, am I going over Iron Mike Sharp tonight? And I said to him, you still work here? Gene, you've got to tell the one about Lawler stiffing Brett with the scepter. Oh, in Dayton? Oh, yeah, King well, of the Ring. I, uh, right. It was... It was King of the Ring in Dayton, Ohio, June 1994, and I was interviewed. 93, come on. What? 1993, Gene. No, it was 1994. 1994 was Art O'Donnell. I, uh... Yeah, we were both in WCW in 94, you fucking croquet ball. Huh? Oh, who the fuck cares? I care, hairless wonder. Me too. Yeah, lick a mousetrap, slimy ass. Fucking chooch. Hey, that's my word. Guy needs a hooker. You'd better believe and it. And any fucking way, I was interviewing Bret Hart on the podium after he won... And, of course, Jerry Lawler comes up, says, I'm the real king, blah, blah, blah. King of the high school, maybe. Shut and, up! And, uh, Bret Hart gets a Burger King chant going. Ooh, I like I, Burger uh, King. Double Whopper, please. This isn't a drive through fat guy. Uh, I like McDonald's more. Yeah, and Metamucil. Royale with cheese. Monsoon. Shh. Anyway, Lawler stiffs the shit out of him with the sept ear. Oh. It's and scepter. Shut up. Huh. And Brett says to me after we go off the air, you know, I'm going to give him a receipt. The hell? Who? Oh. Who, uh... Who was that supposed to be, Gene? It was, uh, it was Bret Hart. The wrestler? It didn't sound a damn thing like him. Yes, it fucking did. Highly unlikely. I don't think so, Booster Seat. Oh, you two assholes don't know a good caricature. Hey, you still here? It's the big guy back with you live here at the halfway point. Boy, if you made it this far, good freaking job. Hey, I guess I should remind you, please follow the dinkle butt that made these. And seriously, please consider giving his WWF pay per view reviews a shot. They're free for a week. Just click on the link in his pinned tweet. I'll wait. Dooby doo. Dum to dum. Okay, you do it? Just trust me, it's worth a shot because it costs literally nothing for seven days. Okay, back to the tape. All right, well, I'm giving him another shot. Everyone, please brace yourselves for luscious Johnny V. Well, Gino Monsoon, good to be back. Oh. You cut me short last time, you know. Good. And Johnny V doesn't like to be cut short. Cut the cheese, cutting corners, looking for a corner in a round room. Good Lord. With a square peg in a round hole. Game of rounders. Game of parchy easy, Grandma. Oh. And I'm not going to sit here idly by while the... I can't do it. Everyone makes a big stink, no pun intended, about how Sid crapped his pants that one time. But, I mean, everyone craps their pants, right? Uh, right? Uh... Edit this out. I saw a thing on the Twitter about my so-called disco suits that I wore to the Spectrum in the 80s. Yeah, laugh all you want, but let me tell you something, baby. I threw it down on the dance floor. The problem was picking it up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Ross, and I like pocket fuel. Hey, remember when Ludwig Borga was good? I think it was a Wednesday. Hey, hey, Gene. Tell the one about Rocco the Dummy at SummerSlam 92. Oh, well, it was Wait, summer. you were there? Uh, of course. Wembley. How come you weren't sitting next and, to me announcing? Uh, Vince, uh, uh, you know. Hey, ass munchers, do you want me to tell the fucking story or not? Oh, sorry, Gene. Yes, of course. Whatever. Fuck, damn it. I get no respect around here. Not the only and, thing uh, he's not getting. And huh. anyway, dickheads, it's Survivor Series 92. And, SummerSlam. Uh, fuck, you just I mean, said it. I meant SummerSlam. Yeah, fuck sure it. you did. Boy, we're in trouble Goodness here. Goodness sakes. And Paul Ellerine walks up to me about an hour before the show. Says, hello, Mr. Okerlund. Oh, give me a break. Can you hold my wooden dummy while I take a restroom <laughs> visit or some bullshit? You know how he talks. Like a and prick. Stop. So I'm fucking standing there holding Rocco like an asshole. And crush <laughs> Brian like Adams, that. Portland, Oregon. Oregon. He comes over and says, hey, brother, nice dummy. And I said, hey, you too. Oh, wait, that's your face. Uh, and that I, doesn't, uh, that stinks, um, Okerlund. Hey, fuck it. I'm not a ventrally queased. Can, can I just say, um. Oh, God, why now? Why me? <laughs> Like, okay, Raw was doing, like, a shit rating, bro. What did you just say? Brohemian Rhapsody. Uh, highly unlikely. And, like, Vince is the one who told me to write the freaking show, bro. Seriously? I, sorry. I, and, like, oh, crap. I need to go to Target later. Went up. So, I mean... I wonder if that bread is on sale are, still. Are you listening? No. Like, why doesn't anyone want to give me any credit for that? Oh, here we go again. Russo, you should understand this. Stat to zit. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, see? Huh, I always forget you're Italian, too. Oh, what? No, I'm not. Hey, look at this. The top three things people apply improperly. Sunscreen, shampoo, and the abdominal stretch. 
Jerry Sags, I guess, walks up to me in Boston once, says, Hey, Gino Rilla. He always called me that. Stupid. Anyway, he says, Me and Nobs are arguing over the last donut here. What should we do? And I said, Here, let's cut it in half. So I did. And then I stuffed that fucker in my mouth and looked at them defiantly as I chewed. Hey, it was Bavarian cream. You would have done it too. You know what bothered me about Howard Finkel? Nothing. Lovely man. Harvey Whippleman had the uncanny ability to smell like seven different types of cheese. And it's pandemonium here in the garden section of Home Depot. Shh. Okay, he's gone. Hey, humanoids, the big idiot is out of the room. Ha, ah, he'll never know about this one. I guess, uh, you're, uh, supposed to follow the loser that made this video and also his podcast and click his pinned tweet for old WWF reviews. I'm on them. And you can't go wrong with free... But also, I have something to tell you about that dummy monsoon. He says he's from Manchuria, but I know that he's really an Italian. Hey! Ah! What the hell did I tell you about this? Where the hell did you come from? I was in here the whole time, you idiot. God, scared the shit out of me, monsoon. Yeah? Good. Serves you right, weasel. <laughs> God, why, why the hell would you do something like that? Well, it's like we say in Manchuria. Il fine giustifica e mizzi. What does that mean? It means don't touch my shit, dillweed. In the November 26, 1990 Observer, Meltzer says, Oh, goody. Cable ratings last weekend were the worst ever. So what? All American did a 2.3, which is pretty bad for the show, but primetime on November 12th did a 2.1, which is the all-time low for the show, breaking a record set the previous week. <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny. Is the public tiring of the Monsoon and Heenan duo? What? Football ratings can't be blamed because the last wait, two... Wait, wait, wait. Give me a break here. Is the public tired of the... Conrad, when was this written? Uh, November of 1990. Right, and that's how many years ago? 23. Right. Yeah. No, wait, 33. Oh, shit, yeah. Damn, you're getting old. Roll Tide. I don't know what that means. Anyway, give me a break. Is the public tired of Monsoon and Heenan? I'll tell you one thing, Dave, the apologist. You've got millions of people listening to a computer-generated version of Monsoon and Heenan every day, written by some chooch out in New Jersey. Hold up, millions? Yeah, whatever, I'm Gorilla Monsoon. If the Spectrum hosts a show and no one's there to see it, do I still have to sit next to Dick Graham for three hours? Knock, knock. Who's there? Stu. Stu who? Uh, Stu Hart. I'm here eh, to stretch you, you big bastard. Everybody has a price for the million dollar man, and Freddy Sparta's was a pint of Hagen dazs and a shooter of Fireball. Hey, what really sucks when it's raining? A CV Afi match sucks when it's sunny out also, or cloudy. Brain, you're wrong. Nope. Chunky peanut butter all the way. Get out. Uh, come on, Monsoon. Come on what? Creamy is where it's at. That Ooh. smooth, buttery texture. Boring. The way it meshes perfectly with a nice strawberry jelly. I like grape. I don't need no chunks of fucking gravel in my PB&J. Huh. Well, I happen to like the way the nuts feel in my mouth. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Yay! I win! Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael P.S. Hayes. Well, thank you, Gorilla Man. Oh, no. Hey, you know, I thought it was a great idea to have me on here. Uh, what a better way to start your Monday than with handsome Doc Hendricks. Sorry, uh, wrong number. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Actually, it was just the worst of times. It was 1995. We were in Bushkill, Pennsylvania. You do the math. Hey, check this one out. Some of the most painful things someone can experience. Let's see, we've got shingles, fibromyalgia, a migraine, and Earl Hebner making a fucking three count in a title match. Hey, what do you call a joke without a punchline? When Sid came back in 1995, I pulled him aside and suggested a new finishing move. The flying safety scissors. Hey. Hey, hey, Gene, can you tell the one about the CEO from Caesars? Oh, well, it was a... Oh, Dan uh, Reichardt's. Yes, I think so. What a windbag that guy was. He was a chew. Hey, Laverne, Shirley, you're going to let me fucking talk? Sorry. Goodness alive. Calm down, liver spot. So it was WrestleMania 9, April 4th, 1993, from Caesars Pallies. Wow. And I... Holy shit, he got uh, it right. Hey, yeah, I fucking looked it up while you two were yammering. Huh, I don't yam. Anyway, Stop. Don Reichardt's this asshole, he walks it's up to... It's not Don, it's Dan. Oh, fuck off. What a chooch. Hey, only I get to say Dan, that. Don, whatever. He comes up to me and says, hey, uh, did you know we have a location in the Poconos if you want to become a partner? <laughs> huh, how much money does he think you make? Yeah, like I'm fucking Rocky Feller over here. Rocky Feller? Shh, that's enough. So I say to him, sir, I've got a job to do. You're wasting my time and you've got ketchup on your fucking nose. Huh, I love Eating it. a wiener. Turns out it was blood. Sounds like he got poked in the nose. Oh. Must have made a raw deal. Must have made a bad investment. And furthermore, I said, never fucking again would there be three bottles of ketchup on my kitchen table. A tunny. 
why would you even have three bottles of ketchup in your house? Well, Billy Red Lions kept bringing over a new <laughs> bottle of Hunts every time we had a fucking barbecue. Oh, give me a break. That flunky. Unbelievable. Can't even bring Heinz the good stuff. You know, a Mike Rotundo match can be very taxing. <laughs> um, hi. This, uh, this is Gorilla Meltzer and, uh, you know... Actually, Andre the Giant wasn't seven feet five inches. Wow, what a stirring fucking revelation. Stop the presses. Did you also know that The Undertaker isn't actually from Death Valley, a jid rule? And that's why I've always maintained you need two referees for Ric Flair's bedroom. Hi, I'm Jim Ross, and I challenge you to a D-Wool. A word of advice. Get you a woman who loves you as much as Marty Jannetty loves getting fired. Hey, Monsoon, which do you like better, Spotify or Apple Music? Uh, what's that now? You know, streaming music from your phone or whatever. Um, streaming? Come on, Monsoon, yes, yeah, streaming. You play songs on these apps. I don't know what any of this means. What? What decade are you living in, Monsoon? Huh, well, excuse Here, me. Here, check this out. Look at my phone. Your screen is filthy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Could at least wipe it off. Okay, here's Spotify. Pick a song. Pick any song. Um, let's see. Okay, I think we're alone now by Tiffany. Seriously? What's wrong with that? You've got some weird taste, Monsoon. It's a happy bopper. Don't be an asshole. All right, all right, shut up. Listen. Let me skip ahead. Huh. Well, would you look at that? There she is. Pretty cool, right? So what's this called now? Spotted what? Spotify. And how do I get it onto the telephone? You download it. Here, give me your phone. Uh, okay, here. What the? This is a Nokia? It's durable, brain! Your Lordship, is it true that you used to drink straight Everclear on the set of TNT with Vinny? Oh, my word. And be honest. Well. Only a couple of people listening. If you must know, I'm afraid it is true. Huh. I knew it. Good heavens. How many bloody fucking naff so-called comedy bits am I supposed to sit through without getting knackered? Uh, yeah. My, uh, my thoughts exactly. I'll never forget Nails coming up to me in Hartford and yelling, Hey, don't make fun of my real voice. Sure, whatever you say, SpongeBob. Brock Lesnar never thanked me for coining Suplex City, but, uh, I'm not gonna go tell him. His wife might talk to me. My biggest pet peeve is when two wrestlers throw the rulebook out the window, and it lands on my Cadillac! History has been made here tonight, as I remembered to take the garbage out on time. Hi, I'm Jim Ross. Put the chisel back in my toolbox, by God. Yeah, Kevin Dunn was cool if you liked being totally fucking annoyed by someone you work with on a daily basis, sure. Brain, get a life, would you? Butterfinger is better than Hershey's Fifth Avenue in every way, shape, and form. Ha! Once again, Monsoon demonstrates his limited view of life. Huh. Hershey's Fifth Ave is not only a delectable alternative to your mainstream Butterfinger bullshit, but it also doesn't get stuck in your teeth the way that toffee nightmare does. Oh, would you stop? Nobody's ever even heard of Fifth Avenue. That's not true. Used to be very popular. Highly the hell unlikely. You don't know what you're talking about. I most certainly do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Butterfinger is an all-time classic. Whatever. Plus, they have the Bart Sampson as their <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, nothing. Hey, hey. You're right, Monsoon. The Sampsons is one of my all-time favorite shows. Classic animated series. Hey, hey. Yeah, sure. I especially love when the dad yells, yo. Well, everyone gets a turn, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toddster. Todd, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me back, Gorilla. Wasn't my idea. You know, I wasn't sure yeah, if yeah. I'd be... Yeah, yeah, shh. My show here. Anyway, Todd, my first question today is, why'd you grow that goatee in 1997? Ha! Well, it was the 90s, and hey, I was trying to just keep up with the times. What times? You know, kind of a Dave Grohl thing going on. I don't know who that is. Uh, Foo Fighters? Food Fighters? No, uh, Foo, not food. Anyway, it looked like that thing was drawn with a fucking Wooly Willy. Give me a break. What's a Wooly Willy? Just shut up. And I was backstage with Adam Bomb, Brian Clark, and I told him, hey, you have a great look. Probably some raw ability but you've really got to work on drawing heat. He comes back to me the next day at TV with a picture of a fireplace. And this bag of popcorn has literally exploded here in my microwave. And now a poem. Ahem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Lance Storm shit his pants in the dungeon with stew. Plato once said, a good decision is based on knowledge and not on numbers. If that's the case, we were making some great fucking decisions in 1995. Gene, what about the Mary Hart story from WrestleMania 3, finally? Yeah, come on, Okerlund. Oh, well, every time I've tried to tell it, you two turd buckets were interrupting me with correct sheens. Huh. Yeah, what the hell, Monsoon? Give me a break. Me? I, uh... You couldn't keep your mouth shut if there was money on the line. Well, then put up the cash, you fucking soprano. I'm gonna put um, my foot up your ass if you don't stop. Hey, do you want the fucking story, assholes? Sorry, yes, Gene. Who gives a shit? Yes, Bunch please. of fucking children around here, fuck's sake. Talking to you. Shut your mouth. Uh, anyway, WrestleMania 3, you know the fucking date. Huh. And Mary Hart of Entertainment tonight comes up to me and starts telling me a story about her co-host at the time, Bob Go. And I'm pretty sure it was John Tesh. Huh? Yeah, I and think how so he was too. caught naked. Oakerland, with a, it was uh, John Tesh. What? No, 
No, John Tisch was gone. No, he was there till 96. Going didn't start till 93. Well, there it is. No, you're wrong, hermit crab. Oh, fuck off, fish stick dick. Oh, oh good grief. You know what? You're not getting the full description. In the April 22nd, 1986 Observer, good Lord. Meltzer is talking about Chet Kopic and says, huh. I remember Chet from the Roller Derby about 14 years ago, and he was excellent then, doing play-by-play. -play. Yeah, good guy. Vince should hire him to replace obnoxious Gino Morella what? Monsoon since Titan. Seriously, with the Titan? We didn't even call it that internally. Since Titan is advertising in several broadcasting trade journals. Wait, for he said Chet should have replaced me? Right. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Can you... <laughs> a parallel universe type shit. Conrad, can you imagine that? Oh, hello, this is Chet Kopic with Jesse Ventura. Welcome to WrestleMania 3. <laughs> oh, Dave, maybe I changed my mind. <laughs> you really are funny sometimes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Johnny V. Uh, sorry, no one's home. We all know Austin 316 says, I just kicked your ass. But did you know Austin 317 says, and I'm really sorry about it, please forgive me, my friend. Highly unlikely I'm going to drive the speed limit on the way home from work. Someone asked me the other day, did you like backstage ribs? Sure, who didn't? Help keep things a lot of fun. My favorites were the slow-cooked ones where the meat would just fall off the damn bone. Mm-mm. That was good stuff. So, Brain, what are you doing this weekend? Well, first order of business is mowing the lawn. Ha, huh, of course. Probably listen to the latest Miley album while I do it. I heard that. It's good. Hey, yeah, I know. Uh, you have any plans? Yeah. Maureen wants to go to the antique store in Edgewater Park. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, I guess. So wh which one of you is being traded in? I beg your pardon? You know, to the antique store. Brain! I'm gonna... Ha ha! <laughs> I'm gonna give you a high five. That was pretty good. Okay, so then what you do is... Hey, are you listening? Sorry, was getting a pen. Sheesh. Egg wash, flour, salt, and pepper, and then put the breadcrumbs on. So first the flour and then the breadcrumbs. Right. I'd season them, too. Maybe a little oregano and garlic powder. Okay, got it. Fry those up a few minutes each and... Wait, fry? Yes, you fry them. Huh. And then take your baking dish, put on your mozzadella and... How, how do you spell that, bro? Don't worry about it. Okay, moots. Then your gravy and then... Sauce, bro. Oh, shit, we're on the air. Hey, if Kevin Walcott's teamed with Bret Hart, they could call the team the Hardware Foundation. Nails and screwed. <laughs> and all I want to do is half Sam phone. I got a fee wing. I'm not the only one. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Say we'll quote, boss. Uh, sorry, Andre. I'm making chicken parm with Russo. Ha <laughs> ha. That's good chicken. I heard Vince McMahon's mustache has a Lloyd's of London policy. Hey, Gene, what about the time you got hammered with Billy Martin? Ha! Oh. Well, I was with... Doesn't uh, take much. Couple of wine coolers. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Take a shit upside down, fuckhead. Huh. Did you hear what he said Goodness to me? Goodness sakes. I'm fine with it. And anyway, it was before the first WrestleMania, and I was with Billy Martin, Berkeley, California. Maney Jeer of the Yankees. He wasn't the manager again yet. True. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. It was still Yogi Berra. Oh, damn it, Heen. And now you're just splitting hairs. Yeah, right down the middle of your fucking head. <laughs> yeah, lick a chainsaw, stupid. What the hell? Shh. Less talking, more listening. Any fucking way, we're sitting at this bar and I arrive. He's already about five drinks in. Huh, and he had four on the way there. Oh, so I do what anyone else would do. I catch the fuck up. We film our shit or whatever, stumble around outside. You stumble on a normal day. Quiet. And I fall into the goddamn water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Billy is just rolling on the fucking pier, laughing his ass off. Can't blame him, Gene. Ugliest fish anyone's ever seen. Oh, what an embarrassment. I remember trying Hillbilly Jim's moonshine back in 1990. Wow. Talk about putting hair on your teeth. Whew. That stuff will give you Exeterin headache number 35. There's always been a persistent rumor that in wrestling the blood is ketchup. Give me a break. It's actually Heinz 57 sauce. Goes really well with steak and chicken. Okay, okay, I'm kidding, geez. Unquestionably, Joey Morella was the finest referee ever in the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, I said it. You know, I actually saw Katie bar the door once. Really makes you think. I remember taking a tour of Warrior University. The dorms were nice, but the cafeteria left a lot to be desired. Bunch of broccoli and some chicken breasts. Give me a break. Where's the rigatone? William of Ockham once said, Entities should not be multiplied unnecessarily. Obviously, the NWO never got the memo. Hi, I'm Jim Ross, and I'll measure my hat with a rewiller. I wouldn't trust Eric Bischoff as far as I could throw him across the street. I'm not sure how far that is, though. Hmm. I'd like to practice. Hey, Eric, you listening? Sure, stubbing your toe hurts, 
But have you ever been stuck on a cross-country flight with Barry Dodinsky? I think I drank all of the vodka Delta had to offer. Brain, I can't agree with you here. So what? Cadbury cream eggs are the best Easter candy. Absolutely not, Easter dummy. Careful now. Marshmallow peeps all the way. Nothing Yuck. comes close. Brain, how do you eat that artificial garbage? As opposed to the all-natural organic Cadbury cream eggs? Uh, can we, um, edit? <laughs> it's okay, Monsoon. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Sean Mooney. Yeah, well, thank you, Gorilla. It's nice to be yeah, back. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Uh, well, you asked me to be on here. Nope. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll ask a question. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay, got one. I, why'd you talk about Matilda so much? Um, uh, wasn't that Craig DeGeorge? No, it wasn't Craig. It was you. Uh, no, uh, I never... Okay, whatever. Then why'd you do all those stupid impressions on Mania all the time? Um, that was, uh, that was Todd Pettengill. Oh, uh, so what the hell did you do? Well, uh, I did the event... Oh, center. damn, sorry my croissants are ready. Talk to you later, John. You haven't experienced true fun until you've done midnight karaoke with Freddie Miller after three pitchers of margaritas, I'll tell you. I remember Bruno walking up to me and saying, uh, hey, Gino, I swear we need to do something with my son. You know, David, <sighs> I couldn't believe it. Give me a break. Imagine getting your son involved in wrestling. Huh. Rare trivia alert. Randy Savage tied the knot twice on pay-per-view. Yeah, he did. Once with Elizabeth and another time against Crush at WrestleMania 10. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we have Bob from Manchuria. What's up, Bob? Yeah, hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, fine. Go ahead. I wanted to know if you ever interviewed any other horses besides Secretariat. Come on. I'll hang up and... <sighs> what a goof. Okay, waiting all day for that. Get a life, would you? Okay. It's not even going to be on the air. Back after this. Hey, Monsoon, come here. Check this out. Um, who's Al? Not Al. It's AI. What is that? It stands for artificial intelligence, which is what you have. Watch it. A anyway, check it out. You can put voices in and make it talk. Huh? Listen to this. It's you. Me? Shh. Listen. Hi, I'm Gorilla Monsoon, and I'm a big baby that wears diapers, and Bobby Heenan rules the world number one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh, give me a break. That doesn't sound anything like me. Monsoon, it is you. It's your actual fucking voice. No, sounds like Barack Obama. And I do not wear diapers. So let me, okay, oh, like... for heaven's sake. Yeah. Oh, whatever, just say your shit. So like... Not like I care anyway. The brawl for all was my idea, bro. What? Broker. Give me a break. Stockbroker, like, JBL thought he was a tough guy and like... Huh. I said, are you freaking kidding me? Highly unlikely. So, yeah, like, that, that was my idea. Oh, what a chooch. You know, uh, like, I know what that means, right? Uh, you do? Yeah, it means Jack... Cut tape! We were in Huntington, West Virginia, and Jim Ross says to me... By God, isn't there something better to sit on than this old stayule? I heard a rumor that Hercules Hernandez used to fart every time he threw a punch. And judging by the smell around the ringsiders, he sure punched a lot. We'll be back. Uh, listen, we all know New Year's resolutions are hard to keep. We also know life is pretty expensive these days. So what I'm offering to you is spend some fucking money on stuff you don't need. What a bargain. Hey, whether it's your small dick, hairy dick, Uninsured dick, mortgageless dick. The bottom fucking line is send me all of the monies. <laughs> hey, if well done wrestled on Raw, would that even everything out to a medium? <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe Art O'Don, uh, Art Donovan, maybe he had a point. It really wasn't fair for Mabel to wrestle IRS, mainly because you get all sticky when you wrestle IRS. No, wait a second, Brain. I'm right. It most certainly was Baron Steen Bears at some point. Nope, give me a break. Everyone misremembers. It was Baron Stain Bears. Oh, get out of here. Get out of where? It was fucking Baron Stain. No, it was Steen. Come on. Are you kidding? It was Stain. No, there was no Stain. I, I never saw a Stain anywhere. Obviously never looked on your bed sheets. What? I said, how do you cook your red meat? Oh, uh, medium. In the March 21st, 1994 Observer, we have a fan letter. Oh, real swell. Why do you even have these? We have a fan letter, just like me, just a fan. A guy named Tom Wagner writes to Dave, Speaking of Monsoon, he's still obnoxious, insipid, what? condescending, and just plain irritating. Oh, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. I watch WWF Wrestling now with the sound off huh. because it's much more pleasant that way. Oh, give me a break. No, give me two fucking breaks. Really, Tom? Insipid? Do you know what that means, Conrad? Nah, I'm just a fan. I sell mortgages, just a regular guy. Oh, shut the fuck up. Nobody believes you anymore. And really? Listening with the sound off? What a fucking chooch. That's half of the frickin' frackin' ding-dang experience, you jid rule. Oh, hi. I'm gonna watch a movie with my eyes closed. Get the hell out of here, you gobba de beep. Did you hear I'm marketing a new panini maker? It's called the Gorilla Press. <laughs> the only thing dangerous about Danny Davis was driving in the damn car with him. Give me a break. Eyes on the road. 
A word of advice, if at all possible, don't get trapped in an elevator with J.J. Dillon. That'll give you a negative attitude in a hurry. And I've got to be honest here. Terry Taylor did for wrestling what Michael Jordan did for baseball. And he takes me off the pay-per-views and puts me on the damn weekend bullshit shows. Yeah, I didn't know what that was all about, Jim. Fucking prick. Well, wait now. And I have to sit there with Kurt Hennig acting like I gave some kind of rat's ass about Aldo Montoya. Yeah, well, yeah, Aldo Fuck was... Fuck sakes, uh, Connie. Good Lord, I'm not Conrad Thompson. He's fatter. Whatever. I ain't no government mule fucking asshole sitting there on Monday Night Raw fucking leaky dicked eggplant rectum tuxedo dick nose. Are you using some kind of vulgar thesaurus? I'll show you a fucking weekend show, you asshole. Come to downtown fucking Tulsa. Shit. Phew. Come see the fucking strip clubs there. By God, wouldn't last two minutes. Not that he fucking does anyway. Well, I, uh, I'm really kind of getting tired of this. Jim Ross seems to think I'm Conrad and uh, has some kind of axe to grind against Vince McMahon. Monsoon, did you know the strip clubs in Tulsa double as the dry cleaners during the day? Huh, yeah, I believe it, Brain. Well, I suppose it's worth another try, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Johnny V. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Gorilla. The pleasure is all yours, I'm sure. The pleasure, the pain, the sun, the rain. Good Lord. And all of the meteorologists playing the guessing games, Grandma. Guess who? Clue, Professor Plum, Wadsworth, Colonel Mustard. Put some mustard on that fastball. Slow ball, low ball, trying to get you to overpay for parking in New nope, York. not worth it. Socrates said the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. And let me tell you, WCW was a really wise company. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Ross, and I like Kewl Ranch Doritos. Sure, Friar Ferguson was a great idea, if you like crap. Art Donovan once read Little Miss Muffet. Hey, uh, how much is that curds and whey? Thank you, thank you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Oh, it must be Shawn Michaels. I heard Bret Hart's favorite band is the U2. No way, brain, get out of here. No, you get out of here. Pizza should be thin crust, foldable, and light on the sauce. Who says? Me. And any other normal human. There ain't nothing wrong with a little deep dish action, Monsoon. Huh. That overhyped, soggy-ass tomato and cheese cake. Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah, well, I suppose you like the grease to drip all over your stupid fat hands while you eat your bendable cardboard mozzarella what? plate, huh? You're pushing it, brain. You're pushing the limit of those pants. I'm gonna knock you out. And these are nice trousers. I don't... Huh. Yeah, those are nice. Thank you. Where'd you get them? Kohl's. 40% off. Hmm. Comfortable? Yeah. Not bad at all, really. They still have any? Uh, yeah. I don't see why not. Huh. Why? You want me to take you to Kohl's? Yeah. Would you mind? All right, let's go. And afterwards, I'll take you out for pizza. Sounds like a plan. Half onion, half pineapple. Oh, don't start! Because, um, Luger. Uh-huh. He, uh, well, Vince McMahon said. He said what? Uh, Luger came out with the title and, um... So we didn't know if that was a test to see if if Luger was a uh, no. That's not would, how this works. Uh, Dave, did you go to journalism for that? You've got to be joking me. Why'd the Undertaker take Robitussin? Too much coffin. Whoa! This pasta fazul is indeed a happening. I want to see the boat movie. Hey, did you know that Jack Tunney's full name is Jackass Tunney? Did you know that Kenny Patera became a damn good cocktail mixologist? All that time behind bars. <laughs> I'll never forget meeting Superfly Jimmy Snuka for the first time. I said, hi, Jim, I'm Gorilla Monsoon, the agent. And he says, Bwaba, bababa, fa, brother. Articulate fellow. Gene, you've got to have a good Jay Leno story from WCW, right? Oh, nice guy, weird well, face. I, uh, Stop yeah. it. Don't say that about Jay Leno. I was talking about you, Monsoon. Yeah, weird face. That's enough. So we were at Hog Wild, 1998, Sturgey, South Dakota. It was and, uh, Road Wild. What are you talking about? It wasn't Hog Wild. That was only 1996. No, it was Hog. You're wrong again, Fuzzy Lip. They're both dumb names. Oh, who the fuck cares, sheep dick? I don't know what that is. It means you stink. You stink. Shh, shut up. In any fucking way, Jay Leno teams up yeah, with DDP Leno. against Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. Wish and, I never uh, worked there. Ha! Huh. Yeah, well, me fucking too. Glad I never did. So they have their fucking match or whatever. Leno has a t-shirt, and afterwards he walks up to me and says, Hey, that was a pretty good match, eh, wasn't it? What the so fuck? So I says it, uh... Uh, Gene, who? What? Uh, what was that? It was Jay Leno. I don't think so. That was awful. Oh, no, you're wrong. It was a fine imitation. Another fan letter from the December 19th, 1994 Observer. This one is from... Oh, this uh, should be great. Not... This one is from Bill Otani, and he writes... Well, he sucks. What is the medulla fibial catrusion of the anterior thoracic region? Uh, that's nothing. Absolutely nothing. See? Just like Gorilla Monsoon, I made it up what? by combining words from an anatomy book. Oh, give uh, me a break. Gorilla Monsoon is a real-life Cliff Clavin. That's not what I do. And, Bill, if you're not careful, I'm going to punch you in your cave of mores, you chooch. Plus, Cliff Clavin is an all-time sitcom character. You'll never be in my kitchen, Bill. 
Anyone who says there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's certainly hasn't spent any time with Bruce Pritchard. My favorite Giant Gonzalez promo is the one where he says, You rest in peace, Undertaker. So, uh, all of them, I guess. Highly unlikely, I'm going to watch that video you sent me on the Instagram. I'll tell you what, Lex Luger must be related to Houdini. Because in 1994, he made his heat disappear. Brain, how can you even say that? It's easy. Words form sentences. Leave it to Beaver is an all-time American classic. Oh, come on, Monsoon. Corny and stupid. Oh, give me a break. What do you like? I love Lucy. Yeah, of course I do. You're going to tell me you don't? Yeah, well, I do, but not as much as the beav. Yeah, you wish you knew what to do with a beaver. Excuse me? I said, uh, you fished with Tom Seaver, didn't you? Oh. That one time? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, how'd that go? Pretty good. We caught a few pickerel, had a few laughs. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. And then he made fun of me, and I threw him into the water. Uh... You know, Monsoon, Leave it to Beaver is a great show, and you uh -huh. are definitely an expert on the beef. And don't you forget it, Weasel. Wow, take a look at the capacity crowd on hand here at the post office. Okay, so, was Ramon his last name and Razor his first, or was Ramon his first name and Razor a nickname? And if so, what would his last name be? Does anyone know? I need answers, damn it. Hi, I'm Jim Ross. Have you ever heard of a government mule? Pretty ironic that Randy Savage entered to the graduation song, but his brother wore the cap and gown. Huh. Serving size, 14 chips, give me a break. Psst, secret for you. Ready? Miracle Grow, Ico Pro. Same product. True story. Seriously, though, Vinny with the mustache? Good lord. Guy looks like an AI generated Jeff Galuli. Gene, can we please get the rest of that Mary Hart story from WrestleMania 3? Yeah, what the hell, Okerlund? Uh, Gene, you there? Hey, Baldy, wake up. Chip, uh, oh, sorry. I, uh, I was on mute. Huh, dope. It's this damn new phone, I can't work it. Yeah, well, I understand. Yeah, and you I... You can uh, barely work your microwave. Oh, shove it, Heenan. Huh. I can work all of my appliances. Even the Instapot? Yeah, especially the one you have to use in the bedroom to get your wife... Brain! To oh. Not necessary! You leave Mrs. Okerlund out of this fuckface. Good lord around here. You should have stayed on mute, wrinkled dick. I'm gonna mute your fucking face, ass breath. Well, obviously, you already muted your fucking sex drive. What is even happening? Oh, I still get great erections, tub thumper. Do not need to know yeah, this. And, yeah, and they come in a fucking bottle with a list of side effects, limp biscuit. Who? Well, you wish you were fucking Fred Deerst. You wish you were fucking anything with a pulse. I'm going to drive there and kick your hey, ass. Hey, I'm going to drive there and kick your ass. That's enough. What the hell is wrong with the two of you? I want you both to shut the fuck up and stop this literally right now before I gather you both up and throw you off the fucking Ben Franklin Bridge. Okay, fine. Sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Gene, please, can we get that damn Mary Hart story? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, so it was WrestleMania 3, and I was talking to Mary Hart. What happened? Uh, oh. Okerlund? Or muted muted himself. himself. Well, wow. I can't believe you made it to the end. You're truly bananas. You know that? He. Anyway, like I said, and I'll say just one more time, I promise, please follow the guy who made this compilation and makes the daily shows or whatever. He tries to do some high-quality podcast work, and you can actually check out his two free shows, plus every WWF pay-per-view, reviewed in order starting in 1985. I mean it, they're not bad. And you can get them for free if you click on the link in his pinned tweet. It'd mean a lot to him, not that I care, because I'm not even real. And yay, thanks again for listening, and of course, without question, will you stop?